Hi guys, um, today I'm going to show you all how I do these Rastafarian looking dress on my hair. I think this is now my new go-to look. Uh, if you guys are interested in seeing how I did it on my little short hair, stay tuned. You won't find nobody better than I, who better than cop, rhetorical, don't need no reply. Okay, so first things first, you guys, these dress are old. I did these dress like two weeks ago. So I'm just touching up the ones that have started coming out of the dread. I'm just redoing um, those. And I just decided to get on camera to show you guys how I did it. But um, I did a three-strand three, three strand twist on my little plaits. You guys, it's easier to do the plait method to me. So I did three-strand twist all over my head. And yeah. Um, and now, I use that edge control just because it's it just make it look fresher and newer so that's why i use the edge control so after you do all of that you're going to need your crochet needle and the crochet needle that i had you can go to the dollar i mean to the beauty supply store and get it it's 98 cent um and you want to put that under your plait and then the braid the dread already come pre-looped y'all i'm calling my mama pay me no mind here but the dread already come pre-looped so there's a win-win situation now when you take that dread, you want to lash it onto the crochet needle, bring that in, then take both the plait and the dread, pull it through that hole that is on that crochet, and then once you get that together, you take the plait and you pull it as tight as you can so it can, you know, be lashed onto that dread. And then the way I do mine, some people like to take the crochet needle and Put it through the dread to pull it in i can't do that method i just take the dread unravel it a little because it can come loose and then i take it and just wrap that around the plait and that's how my hair is covered up now i did it again to show you guys how i really do it and i'm gonna slow it down so you guys can actually see the process of me twisting um twisting that thing unraveling that dread and twisting it around that plait so my plait cannot be seen and it can look like some individual dreads and then you want them. So again, I'm just doing a three twist, a three strand plait on my hair because the street, the three strand twist just are a little bit more secure to me. Now I'm going to slow this part down so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I'm, uh, I thought I was slowing down. But again, you're going to take that crochet needle, lash that under, well, put it under that plait, and you see how you disconnect that. <laughs> then you take that um, dread, the dread come pre loop, put that onto that latch, close that latch. There's a little part on there where you close it, take that under. These dreads are big, so my plaits are real small, so that's why it was kind of tough there going inside. Then you take both the plait and the dread and you pull it through that hole. Take that plait, tighten it as tight as you can so it can be secure. Now here's where I'm going to slow down so you guys can see how I'm taking that dread, that dread, unraveling it, and just wrapping it around that plait. Now my hair is short, so it's not as hard for me to like put it through because I'm just basically once i unraveled it the whole little plait went under the dread so it's very simple to me how i just unravel and put it on there i hope you guys are understanding what i'm trying to say because i'm trying to make it as simple as possible or understandable as possible but that's how i just um wrap that around and you can no longer see that dread but i zoomed out here because i wanted to show you guys because these braids are so old i had to go and you know touch up so i did cut all of the straggly ends the little straggly parts from the oldness of these dreads but honestly the older these dreads get the better they look like when i first did them they were kind of too fresh but now they're like getting a little bit nappy so they're looking like real rastafarian braids and that's the look that i was going for and that is the look that i am loving y'all sorry about my hairy armpits i got to shave so don't judge me and don't join on me in the comment section, y'all. Let me be great. I forgot to shave and I didn't know I didn't shave. 
but anyways yeah i'm just cutting off this straggly part i didn't tell you guys what kind of hair i'm using and i'm sorry about that the hair that i got y'all is the bobby boss um hair and i think it's called the um i forgot i think they're the dreadlocks or something like that but or the bay locks i think something like that i might leave it down in the description box so you guys can see but yeah uh, the hair is like eight dollars a bag so and all i had to use six bags so i paid like forty dollars for this hairstyle six bags y'all and i used it every last plait to do my hair it took me three hours to achieve this look so you may can she achieve it in less time than me but yeah that is it hope you guys enjoy i'm sensual caramel with a touch of butter best of both worlds sophisticated and i'm gutter